Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. Um, that just clipped. That was horrible. Hmm. Why did that clip? I have no idea. That shouldn't have happened. Oh dear. Anyway, um, right. First things first in this episode. I was told in the comment that I forgot to put the secondary street connection in. On this. In Chicago. And I did. I did forget to put that in, and I'm going to now remove 13 buildings at a cost of 1.8 million just to get that secondary street connection in, but I have to put it in, so apply that and watch everything disappear. Why all those buildings disappeared, I'm not entirely certain, but, you know, that's that. I'm also going to now smooth this, because it has to be smoothed somehow that needs to be those textures need to be blended in which is not happening right now right okay well no never mind never mind let's do that that's looking pretty cool right we still haven't played this but now we do have that secondary street connection back in in Chicago um, what I need to do is I need to name these as they are named. So in fact, let's do that now. I'm going to go onto the internet and we're going to name these, uh, right, Chicago Train Station. We'll start naming these to what they're supposed to be. So we've got a Union Station, of course. Of course, that would be the main station. So this is Chicago Union Station. There we go. So that's got its real name now. Uh, we will also go, let's go for, just for the big, big ones. Uh, Detroit. What's the name of the train station? Michigan Central. Michigan Central is the train station in Detroit. So let's go ahead and uh, name that as well. Where's Detroit? I've lost them. Here we go. Admittedly, I think that this is actually the station's further down here, but you know, let's call it a uh, Michigan Central. Okay, well, I suppose we could just call it Michigan Central. Can't fit any more in for that. Uh, Washington, what's the train station in Washington? Let's find out. It is Union Station. Well, what do you know? So just, just curious. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not the right station. That one. Just, so just a little bit curious. You know, with your conventions of naming stations, do you, um, you know, think up other names for stations, or because that's the second one, I've had a look at three, and two of them are immediately Union Station. So, you know, is it? Is there anything, any particular names that you, you pick for your stations? Uh, 30th Street Station. That's a bit more like it. 30th Street Station. That's the one in Philadelphia. So I'm assuming that is 30th Street. Or that is 30th Street. 30th Street. Station. Let's call it 30th. Uh, that's Steet. That's not Street. There we go. Okay. That's not bad. So there's only two Union stations in so far. Let's have a look at what uh, Toronto has. Union Station. Really? That's not very original. Let's call it Ham Hamilton. Toronto Union Station. Not Union Station 3, Union Station. There we go. That's not very original. We also haven't put the uh, bus station in here. Uh oh. Well, let's do that quickly. Right there, actually. That's exactly where it's going to go. Get rid of... Come on. There we go. Done. Okay. 
Right, so that's three Union stations now. Uh, right. I wonder what the station in Buffalo is called. We don't. We don't have this. We don't have this whole. That's just called. Uh, a historic former railroad station. Until from 1929 to 1979, that was an elevated one. Uh, let's call it that. Let's call it uh, Buffalo Central Terminal. Why not? There we go. That's what we're going to call that one. Um, I was kind of, I was kind of expecting Union Station, but at least we don't have that. Right. Let's go for uh, Cleveland. What's it called? It is called Lakefront Station. Which, amazingly, I've got it on the f lakefront. So, that, very clever name. A lakefront station. I should probably put STN now instead of um, any other ones. Right. Any others that I really need to... Well, to be honest, there's only a few left to name. So, let's do that as well. This is a, this is a naming episode. We're naming all the stations. We're, we're going to do this as we go along. Right. Indianapolis train station is called Indianapolis station. That's fine. I don't have to change anything. Um, Cincinnati train station is called Union Terminal. Really, guys? Sin. Uh, I keep. I always get this wrong. Is it a double T? No, it's a single T. Sin oh, it's written right there. Well done. Union Terminal. Wow. So that's... Everything here is just named Union. Do, surely you guys have better names for these. Columbus Train Station is called Columbus Station. I'm okay with that. We've already got that named. And Pittsburgh Station is called please don't be union pittsburgh station okay we're good that's fine for us now uh f yeah that's fine for us right now okay so last episode we did that we put that station in what we need to do now is we need to work out how things are going to run through all of this so obviously we want to be going to chicago and we're going to have a whole setup now coming out of chicago so this area is almost ready to be demolished but before we do that we need to work out whether we want a train station in Fort Wayne or not I think we could have a train station in Fort Wayne I think we should have a train station in Fort Wayne so let's put a train station in Fort Wayne uh, and where are we going to put it well if the trains gonna come out this way here is going to be the ideal stop for it but not everything's going to be stopping in this train station so it's going to be a four track station uh, like so four tracks all right let's see if we can get this perfectly at a 45 there we go that's perfect on the 45 I think it doesn't look absolutely perfect on the 45 but it will do and we're going to pop it in right there then we're going to actually create the 45 street uh, as close as we can to that that's close enough and then we will take back that and we will do that there and that's not right that's what I want so I'm going to so I'm going to increase this along here bring that up to there then demolish that bit there perfect one of them in just here bus station of course should just fit yeah, okay, you can, okay, well, if you want, let's do that then. Let's just do it like that, right up to the, right up to the train station. That will look absolutely fine. I 
just realised that we can do that. Oh no, we can't. That just changes uh, everything. That changes all the aspects of it. That's not good. I was kind of hoping we could change maybe the type of station and still keep our... No, it doesn't. What we need is we need a mega mod. That's what we need. In the next series, we need a mega mod. And that mega mod needs to have all the train station lengths, but it also needs to have the curvature on them, platform roofing, which plat you know, missing middle platforms, things like that. All that needs to be included, I think. Right, let's have a look. That then needs to connect to Detroit. In fact, we could even have that connecting downwards towards Cleveland. Because, of course, we do have to go down that way. We have to go down that way anyway. So actually we may end up using more than, we may end up using all four uh, platforms. Let's have a look at what the way to Detroit looks like for us. It's quite, uh, quite an easy one actually. So we demolish that road there and then in we go. Just like that. That is as simple as it, that is essentially all we need to do. Wow. Okay. So you may notice I'm not being as complicated on these things as maybe, maybe I wanted, I wanted to be. And the reason being is that because of the way these towns are expanding, I don't think it's worth being that complicated, but I will be then doing another series in the UK, which will be extremely complicated, but I think I'm going to use an experimental map size, which is going to have to be far larger than this, just to make those really complex junctions and have them to a very realistic, or as realistic as possible scale. Right. And when we do that, then I will be running two lines in a number of places. And what I might also try and do is I might, I might try and have these, uh, have it essentially as realistic as possible. So we will be doing lines where lines are and see, seeing if we can follow historic lines, stuff like that, bringing it to and, f uh, to and fro and then connecting up lines, joining them together, all that sort of stuff. In some ways we've done it here. We, we have brought lines together and we're breaking up lines and stuff like that for example you know um, this area here is that will probably end up changing this junction here will end up changing i'm sure there are junctions here that will end up changing all over the place we might even bring that around so on and so forth this depot um which i've been told to put a signal at the end of so i'll actually i will actually just put a signal right here um just because I was asked to do it. There you go. There's a signal. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, there will be some changes happening. I am almost certain of it. Right, that actually looks pretty good. That really does look quite good. Now, the other thing is, with, with the station in Detroit, do I... Do I make another station in Toledo? That's the other, that's the big question. I think I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these lines up. For now, these lines are going to go directly. This is definitely going to change. Well, not like that. It's going to go in like that. Yep, that's how it's going to go. Um, I'm not too happy about that though. So let's go... Let's just have a look at that. That's fairly flat all the way through. Then let's see what it wants to do. Right, for some reason it wants to bridge. Which isn't, it doesn't look bad, but it's not what I want. And then do that, so hold on. Maybe, yes, that's what it is. There's a, 
there's that hill right there. Can you see it? Yep. That's the one that's causing all the issues. So, if we bring it out to about here. Right, and then... There's a way to tunnel. Which is exactly what I was hoping for. We can actually tunnel this. Uh, no, like that. Oh, that's fantastic. That is the... That's a perfect outcome, that one. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome out of that. Well done, Transport Fever. For allowing me to do that. That's something we could not have done in Train Fever. That was something that it just would not have happened. It would have it would have complained left, right and centre and to do it manually would have been an absolute pain. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy that that works out. On the other hand, uh, I'm not so happy that this isn't working out. No, I want you to... Well, surely that's... Right, why are you being a pain? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, you want to be a pain? If you want to do it if you want to do it that way, we'll 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 do it that way. No, there is definite collision going on. So we'll destroy that bit of track and remake it simply. Go. What? Does it stop colliding anywhere? Yeah, there. All right. Well, let's make it further out. How's that? Hey, you prefer that one, don't you? There we go. Done. Job done. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Fantastic. So now we've actually got a route over to Cleveland, which does mean that we've, we've actually got an area in Toledo where we can actually break things apart. Also, also, that being said, we could actually put a freight station here. We can put a freight station in here, which may be able to service this entire area. And we could bring in coal from over here if we wanted to. We've got grain that we can bring in. I mean, that, that's another possibility. So we'll have one freight station here. We'll probably have another freight station. It has to be here. Uh, the, we'll have a freight station down here. And probably a freight station. Well, we've got the other freight station here, which is going to sort them out. And we've got a freight station up there and down there. So we don't have to worry about that. I wonder how Thunder Bay is doing. Let's have a quick peek over at Thunder Bay. It's still growing, nice and slowly, but it's still growing at what? 163, I mean, that's not bad. And obviously this area as well, we're going to have to be careful because this is where our steel is going to come from. We're going to have a steel mill here. So we're going to have to watch for that. Uh... All right. And hopefully by the time you're watching this video, uh, this should be out on Steam. If it isn't, do leave it in the comments box to let me know that it's not out on Steam yet. Um, you'll find it under... What, should, what will I be calling this? I'll be calling this uh, The Great Lakes. You'll find it under Maps and it'll be called The Great Lakes. And it's a 4K map and just to, just to again reiterate, these industries are available but none of the production industries are so i'm sorry none of the manufacturing industries are going to be around so you'll have forests you'll have coal mines iron mines farms uh, stuff like that quarries but you're not going to have any and you'll have oil fields as well but you're not going to have anything like um uh, uh fruit processing plants construction plants um construction construction material plants you're not going to have uh, smelteries you're not going to have oil refineries or any of that stuff you're going to have to put them in yourself as and when you see fit and as and how you see fit okay 
That brings us to the end of this episode. Next episode... Next episode... I think we're going to connect this up to Chicago and get the route running uh, out from Chicago. And also, because this is Detroit, and because there's a lot of... I know that this is historically quite a big manufacturing thing, this is going to become a depot. That is going to become one big depot right there. Although I kind of want Detroit to be able to grow. So maybe... Maybe that won't become the depot. Maybe this side will become the depot. I'll put the depot over on this side or something like that. We'll also put some bridges in and we'll just get everything running really, really nicely. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think and any ideas you may have. Let's bring this up so you can see the railroads as they currently are. I think they look pretty good. They're not just cutting through things, they're flowing with the terrain and with the ground. Um, last but not least, do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. I would massively, massively appreciate your support. It will do wonders for what I need to do and it will just allow me to start creating things and start making more and more stuff and having having a sustainable living out of something like this which is really really important for me once again thank you very very much for watching and i will see you guys next time